Yeah. Well, this is not yeah. tapas, but the, but the idea of cooking is exactly the same. Yeah, and the calamari, yeah. the squid, you know, the rings. Is that the same as that? Yeah, just oh, unbelievable. All of that. Yeah. yeah. You can do. Okay. <laughs> Don't give him any. No. Right, uh, right you need some wine to go with this. Our new wine expert, Jane Parkinson, did a great job with Nathan's dish earlier. So let's see what she's chosen to go with Jose's Heavenly Hake. Jose is one of the loveliest, most charming chefs around, but I know he'd have my guts for garters if I didn't go for a Spanish wine to go with his delicious hake. And he'd be well within his rights, because this dish is a Spanish as flamenco. And it's a great rule of thumb to match a recipe with a wine from the same region or country. So, if you're looking for a bargain option, I'd go for something like this, the mellow and fruity Spanish red. Where else can you find a delicious wine that's under a fiver these days? But I'm looking for something that's got a bit of extra freshness and a bit of extra finesse. So my ultimate match would be this, the Casa Carmela Monastrel from Spain. Earlier this week, I popped into Jose's restaurant to try his beautiful recipe. And as soon as I did, I knew I was looking for a fresh Spanish red, nothing too oaky. So this one from Yecla, which is an up-and-coming coastal region in the southeast of Spain, is the perfect match. This wine is made from Monastrel, or Mouvedre as it's known when it's grown in the south of France. It has a beautiful aroma of wood smoke and clove and jam, which is going to be perfect with those earthy lentils and jamon. What I love about this wine is that although it has an earthy richness to it, it's also got a perky freshness. And that's because the vineyards are at a high altitude. That makes this wine perfect with the lemon, the mustard, and the parsley in that delicious aioli. And finally, don't get hung up on this red wine overwhelming the fish. But if you are worried, just stick it in the fridge for 10 minutes, and that will make the wine taste even fresher. So, Jose, I hope this wine meets your high standards and that you're all enjoying it back in the studio. Cheers. Cheers indeed. I haven't got much left in mind, but this is another, another great choice, really, for the uh, first go. But I think... This is superb. Cheers, lovely. I love you, love. <laughs> and like you said, if you chill it, that was a great idea as well. Chill it for 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Chill it a little bit and go just perfect. Yeah. We went to the Resique, to the restaurant. I was cooking for her. And we have an amazing time. She just made this. She's much to heaven. You can say that? You reckon? Uh, she, doesn't, yeah, she definitely understands what's going on here. Yeah. Like, she got, you cook for her. What do you yeah. do for me? <laughs> that's the only way you're going to get it. No, no, we can go. But that's great. Well, enjoying that? Well, yeah. Yeah, when you dive into that, I'm going to keep enjoying this as well. Yeah. Uh, so let's go back to celebrity.